We're back. Now it's time for our outrages of the day. I'm outraged over a field test scheduled for this spring by the Federal Communications Commission. It plans to study how local stations pick the news in order to, quote, ensure that the information needs of all Americans are being met. This may be even more delusional than John Kerry's speech. The idea that we need a government bureaucrat to protect us from the very reporters who expose the misdeeds of government bureaucrats is absurd. Thomas Jefferson would be enraged. I think that's probably the first kind and caring thing you've said about the mainstream media. <laughs> so, Sometimes they get to me. That's good. Oh, look, uh, yesterday I was outraged because of the, uh, because of the Texas governor uh, candidate, Greg Abbott. Uh, he would not disavow Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent, just a couple weeks ago, as you remember, called President Obama, quote, a subhuman mongrel. Today, the story's even worse. Sarah Palin has endorsed Abbott this afternoon, not instead of or in spite of Nugent. She says this. If he's good enough for Ted Nugent, he's good enough for me. Now, look, there are some people who sling around the word racism way too often, way too easily. But when you call a mixed-race black man a subhuman mongrel, that's racism. If that's not racism, nothing's racism. And Governor Palin, I want you to know something. My kids are mixed-race. They're not subhuman. They're not mongrels. And no Republican leader should support that kind of name-calling. You're a mom. We expect more from you than that. So, look, uh, you can go to Facebook or Twitter if you want to weigh in on our fireback question. If you uh, do, you agree with Secretary of State's assertion, uh, Kerry's assertion that the climate change is perhaps the most fearsome weapon of mass destruction. Right now, 52% of you say yes, 48% of you say no. Uh, I think that's about where the country is on this yeah. type of stuff. So, what do you guys think of that? I, I I'm on the Kerry's assertion and in, in the country's reaction to it. I think it is about split, and that's one of the reasons the Secretary of State has to speak out about these things. They have to let the publics around the world know what the science is and the immediate threat that we're facing from the warming of the earth. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Listen, I want to thank you both uh, for being here. Uh, the debate is going to continue online at CNN.com slash Crossfire, as well as on Facebook and Twitter. From the left, I'm Van Jones. From the right, I'm Newt Gingrich. Join us tomorrow for another edition of Crossfire. Aaron Burnett out front starts right now.